Well, here's meteorologist Michael Barron's to break down the science behind the practice of daylight saving. Yeah, Doug, we all know we spring forward as we head into this season, and that gives us another hour well, ahead in the day, losing that hour of sleep, moving our sunrise to 751 and our sunset to 734. But the question on a lot of people's minds is why do we actually go through with this practice? Well, looking back into its origins, a lot of people like to blame Benjamin Franklin, though he was kind of talking about it more tongue in cheek than anything else. Not a serious suggestion. The next group that gets the blame, typically the farmers, but here's a fun fact. Their day revolves around the sun as it is. Moving the clock doesn't change their routine. So why do we do it? Well, it all goes back to the world wars. The idea was that if you moved workers hours to coincide with the daylight hours, you could save fuel by using less to generate light inside those factories and workplaces. Well, bad news now, now that we have air conditioning, we are losing that benefit. The biggest factor in anyone's electric use is heating or cooling. And as we move our workday to coincide with the sun, especially in the summer, we end up more of our workday being in those warm temperatures, meaning we're burning more energy, not even getting that benefit out of moving the clock. So we're still doing it, but there's not a lot of things we're gaining other than daylight. Boy, are we gaining daylight through the month of March. We're going to pick up about 80 minutes here across the state of Ohio. April up 70 minutes and May up another 50 minutes. That'll continue until June when things sort of balance out. That leaves our sunrise and sunset looking a little bit like this. Today, 655 sunrise, 630 sunset in a week, 744 to 738, picking up 19 minutes. We'll pick up another hour and 22 as we head a month from now. And then by the middle of June, we've gained almost three and a half hours with sunset coming after nine o'clock in the evening. Right now, we are continuing to pick up a little over about uh, two and a half minutes during each day. You know, it is, you do lose that hour, especially for people who work early morning shifts on Monday. Yeah. That's always tough, but it's nice to have the extra light in the evening. It sure is. And uh, just for mentally yeah. <laughs> to have it light when you get home, dinner, before you go to bed, yeah. you know, it's nice to have that little bit of time, I think.